As mentioned earlier, our example sentence has used a regular verb to play. With the regular verbs, we simply add ed. This spelling pattern changes for words that end with a consonant and a y. Cry goes to cried, try to tried. Another spelling pattern we have to be aware of is our consonant plus vowel plus consonant. In these instances, we double the consonant used. Shop needs the double P, and ship needs the double P. With these spelling patterns, and most spelling patterns in general for the English language, there are always exceptions to the rules. So, we have to be aware of those exceptions. We also have to impart those exceptions onto our students. We can do so through various exercises and various activities to end our class. To form the negative sentence here, again our subjects are in the beginning of the sentence. We keep our helping verb, whether it be have or has, and between our helping verb and the main verb in our sentence, we of course add the word not. For forming the question of the present perfect tense, again we're going to follow on with our form of inverting the subject and the helping verb. Now we'll begin with have or has. So we end up with questions such as, have I played football today? Or has she played football today?